Howdy folks, this is Chris with Big Guys Hike 2, and today I'm going to do a quick video on my Kuyu Mountain Star two-person tent. Um, if you watched my last video, my daughter and I went camping in the backyard. We had planned a two-day hike out um, on a state park trail. However, uh, she had some commitments with school that we weren't able to go, so we ended up uh, deciding, since we had already bought some of the stuff, um, food wise and things like that that we go ahead and camp in the backyard and, and uh, I'm trying to put out content on a consistent basis so I went ahead and uh, videoed it and uh, put that on that thing or on this channel so anyway while I was out there um, I noticed that uh, inside my tent the inner mesh had about 12 little holes about the size of cigarette holes uh, maybe a little bit smaller than that I uh, don't know how it got there I know I didn't snag it especially if there's 12 of them all over the place it looked like the material failed maybe when I packed it it crimped and then for some reason um, maybe it was wet or moist or something and it, it rotted I don't know doesn't make any sense that it would rot but whatever happened it had a bunch of holes in it um, I sent a email to the customer service at their website um, they responded back with an email with a uh, shipping label for free shipping and said ship it back uh, It fell under the lifetime warranty of the tent and that they would replace it So they went ahead and, and sent it back. It took about two weeks for the whole process so I was very happy with that. I was very happy with the fact that it um, Was under the lifetime warranty and they didn't question or, or uh, Want to say that I did something wrong with the tent. They just went ahead and replaced it The tent has been updated so I was kind of worried that they might not have the right part for my tent but they did and uh, here it is um, what was nice about it is the older tent has these little clips like this right here and since I bought mine about two years ago they came out with a new tent just recently and the newer tent um, uses toggles instead of these little clips see these has a bunch of little clips you can see better in the light there you go um, have those the uh, newer one has a toggle and they put it on there I think it was a lot to do with um, it does pull a little tension on the tent on the seams from the outer tent and I also um, they weigh probably more than the toggles do because there's a clip on both of them whereas with the other one they can just do a loop with a little material and put the toggle on there so I think they did it for weight savings and also for the tension um, I did notice on my tent that where mine are they have these little seat clamps that clamp onto the uh, poles because the poles are external. That's the reason why I bought the tent versus some of the other tents is it has external uh, poles. So you can put the poles up. The inner tent is attached to the inside of the outer tent. So when you put it up, the outer tent attaches to the poles from the outside. If it's raining, pouring, whatever, you're going to keep the inside of your tent clean and dry. That's what I really appreciated about it. And um, however, I did notice that those where the C clamps are attached is where three seams come together at the top and that does pull on those seams and I did have a little bit of a leak when I did a hurricane test um, during Hurricane Ian which was just a couple months ago and uh, it had a little bit of leak with about maybe that size of a little pool of water after being out in the whole hurricane so I mean like it's a hurricane and you know that little bit of water I wouldn't freak out about but um, I went ahead and seam sealed and uh, tested out and it uh, seemed to do the trick for now but that they also change the uh, outside of their new tent where it's a sleeve instead of these little C clamps. I think that's to distribute the tension throughout the whole seam instead of just in a couple spots where the C clamps cross over the poles. So um, I was worried, but they, they had the old tents and as you can see, um, they had them stored in old tent. So um, that was really nice that I could get my thing replaced. And the fact that it didn't cost me anything, they didn't question me or argue um, that it was my fault or anything like that. So I give an A-plus thumbs up to the service department at QU. And uh, if you're looking for a tent and you're worried about the service, you're worried about the warranty, um, and if also you like a tent where the outside, where you can put it up in the rain and the inside of the tent stays dry, then this is definitely a good tent. It's in the medium range weight-wise. Um, it's definitely not as light as a Z-Pack or the uh, Dunstan or Durston uh, tents, but uh, I do have a Durston tents, but, um, you know, it's a nylon tent and it's a lot cheaper than the other tent. So uh, they all have their give and take. And uh, for me, this is kind of going to be my storm and winter tent versus the Durston tent, um, which would be more of a through hike, longer distance hike. Um, so. Anyway, 
that's my story on that. I, I really uh, am happy with the response that they had. And uh, I hope that uh, if you're looking for a tent, this might help you a little bit. So um, with that being said, I hope that you would subscribe to my channel. Uh, hit the like button so it goes out to more people. I'm not making any money off this um, channel. And uh, I do it because uh, I found a niche when I was looking to through hike and get a little healthier. Um, hiking, I can't run because of my back, so I can hike and walk. Uh, I gave myself a focus by saying I was going to do the Appalachian Trail after my daughter graduates from uh, high school, which is my youngest daughter, so I'll be able to do that. And um, so I started looking for lighter equipment, and sure enough, uh, seemed kind of weird that uh, they didn't have any, well, not weird, but it sucked that they didn't have anything for larger, bigger guys. Um, I found that the hunting uh, equipment and camping gear for hunters tends to fit bigger guys. I don't know why. I mean, it's not like hunters are big chubby guys that drink beer all the time, but we do. Um, so anyway, uh, that gear does come in some lighter gear if you go up the price range. So I was looking online and I thought, well, heck, nobody else is big and talking about hiking. All the hikers, these little skinny guys you typically would think of as hikers. And um, I thought, well, you know, we bigger guys can hike too and bigger girls can hike too. So um, I'm always about my health and trying to get in better shape. I've always struggled with my weight my whole life. Um, I was always athletic and very into sports, which kept my weight down to where I was like a big bone guy. Um, but uh, I always had to watch what I ate and all that stuff. But uh, I was able to exercise my way through it and keep myself pretty healthy that way. Um, but I got into an accident and uh, during a deployment, we did a rollover and I uh, screwed up my back and I couldn't run anymore and I blew up like a balloon. I got all the way up to 368. I'm down under 300 now. I've dropped down to like 250s a couple times, but managed to gain most of it back um, because of one reason or another. This last time I was down to 258, found out I had cancer, went through the radiation treatment, gained most of that weight back. And uh, I had started this channel right before I found out about that. And uh, so anyway, the content is um, to help other people and say that, you know, we can make all the excuses we want, but uh, you can go out and do it and keep up with it. And you're going to have setbacks. You're going to have to get back out there, all that stuff. So that's what this channel is about. So if the more people subscribe and the more people that uh, like it, the more to get out the people that really uh, can see it and hopefully inspire somebody to, to move along. Because after all, um, giving is the best thing we can do and helping each other out, especially with all the crap that's going on in the world today. Um, let's spread the love. Anyway, remember, plan your hike and hike your plan.